Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another really easy crock pot meal idea for you guys and I got this off Pinterest if you are wondering. So you're going to need about two pounds of kibasia or kibasia, however the heck you say it. I'm really bad at saying it, but this is really, really good just so you know. And if you don't want to make a lot, you probably only need one pack. And I'm using cream of mushroom soup and I'm also going to use two onions. I only show one onion. But I ended up actually using two because this one was kind of small and I just thought I'd go ahead and throw another one in there which made it really really good and tasty and then you can use the potatoes of your choice and these are just the ones that I had so um, yeah I will put the link down below so you guys can go follow the exact recipe so you know the measurements and everything but um, I actually like using a large can of cream of mushroom and um, the recipe I think calls for a small can but me and my husband actually liked this a little bit more soupy but that's totally up to you so I'm just going to start by putting my cream of mushroom into the crock pot and um, also I have these crock pot liners which are lifesavers really makes it easy clean up for your crock pot so I highly recommend getting those if you do not have them Also, there is another ingredient that I didn't explain in the beginning and I didn't also show it because I almost forgot about it, about it but I do show it here in a little bit and I'll tell you guys what it is. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and chop up my onions and this is a Pampered Chef chopper and I love this thing. It is my lifesaver when it comes to dicing up stuff. It's so much quicker so um, if you guys want to check that out I can maybe also link it down below but I really do like it. So I'm going to start by putting my onion in there and then I realized that I wanted to use another onion. It's totally up to you guys. Some of you guys might not even like a lot of onion but I think the onion really gives this recipe like a boost of flavor and it's just really really good. So um, I do just want to say before I forget that this recipe is one of our favorites. Um, I've made it three times and we just we really really like this recipe and I think I actually made it for New Year's and we've had it two times after that so we really enjoy this and I kind of made a little bit extra because of my mom and dad come down and had some and they also really liked it so I do highly highly recommend you guys try this one and I'm now I'm just slicing up the kielbasa really thin or you can do it however you like your kielbasa like sliced So now I'm also going to just toss that right into the crock pot. And I'm also going to just stir it up just like a little bit. So there you can see that I did stir it. Um, and now we're going to add our other ingredient that I didn't talk about. So you're just going to need a little bit of Creole seasoning. And also, I will definitely link this down below so you guys know how much to use, but that's what it's called. It's called Creole Seasoning, and it really also gives the flavor really nice taste. So now, moving on to my potatoes, you can use as many as you want. I think I used probably more than um, what <laughs> the recipe called for, but that's because, like I said, I had company and I wanted to make extra so if you do want to make extra I just recommend doubling the recipe but it's really worth doubling it honestly just to have leftovers again because it's really really good so um, I'm just tossing the taters in there now and yes I said taters because I'm a country girl <laughs> And so I also just mixed that up really well and then you're just going to put your lid on there and that's really all you do guys. You cook it on low for about 7 to 8 hours and that's really it. I'll show you guys what it looks like really quick and it's delicious. It's almost like a soup. See how much creamy this soup is compared to if you use a small can. It's definitely not as creamy as this. So it depends on how you like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and let me know down below if you guys try this recipe out and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.